Hey everybody and welcome to the uh, button tutorial in Photoshop. Um, I know the previous video just was um, giving you guys a little introduction to graphic arts and programming and web. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to need to do in order to start creating our button is find Photoshop. Now I'm going to try and move at a moderate pace so that way you guys can keep up, um, keep up with me. So first thing we're going to do, I have a shortcut to Photoshop right here, but I'm assuming you guys don't. So we're going to go to the search box and type in Photoshop. So you may have Photoshop CS4 or CS6, doesn't matter, basically the same program. Takes a little bit to load up, not that long, but pretty quick. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go over each tool as we use it before um, I try to do this and I went through every single tool and I ended up being 11 minutes in on the video so we're not going to do that. So first things first, this is where like any other program you open a new file, file new. Um, we're going to do, uh, make sure you have all these settings, um, we're going to name it to um, website button. Okay. So make sure you have all these same settings. I'm going to do 600 by 250. If you're going to make a button, you want the width to be a, a decent amount longer than the height because um, if you think about it, it's a rectangle, so it's going to have a larger width than it does a height. Square is the same all the way around. So we're going to make it a longer width. Once you have all this same stuff as I do, um, that's another thing too. If I'm going too fast, um, pause the video, play it back, ask your instructor to pause the video if you want, but you should have this by now. Okay. So, first thing to do, we're going to do is add a new layer, and the way we do that is click this little, um, it looks like a page folding off of another page, um, new layer. So now that we have a new layer, I also want to make the background layer a layer because technically it's just called the background but we want to make it a layer so we're going to double click it double click it then we're going to say okay so now we have this layer and this layer now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our shape tool now this is where you find all your tools but this is where the shape one is so you got your rectangle your rounded your ellipse your polygon your line and custom but we're going to do the rounded rectangle. So I also want it to be this blue color. So you can make it whatever color you want by clicking up here. But I want it this blue color. So we're going to make a nice, nice button. And over here, back to your layers tab, this is where your layers tab is. We want to make this a regular layer because right now it's a shape layer and you can't do much to a shape layer other than change the color. So we're going to rasterize it by right clicking and going to rasterize. I already did it so it's not there. Then we're going to go to your background layer. We're going to control, actually, excuse me, we're not going to control. We're going to go to select all, which is control A for short. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to select our shape, going to go to the move tool, which is the top one up here, and we're going to center it. We're going to center it horizontally and vertically, well, horizontally and vertically. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some text, and before we do that, we're going to deselect, go back up to select, and deselect it. Now, I want to make this a Facebook button, so I'm going to use the font Lucida Sans, and I'm going to make it bold. You go to your text tool, by the way, I forgot to mention. So a lot of things I'm probably not going to mention because I'm just so used to doing them that it just comes to me. So I'm going to make it strong, and then I'm now that I have that, I'm going to go into my button and... See, it's still blue, so you didn't see it. So we're going to go to the color and change it to a shade of white. I'm going to do it lowercase. 
Okay. So now that we have our Facebook text, we're going to center it also. So back to the background layer, or layer zero, as it says. We're going to select all again, and then go back to the Move tool, and then we're going to center it. But we got to select the Facebook first to center it. Okay, now that it's centered, we're going to go back to the button itself and make it look cooler. And this is where you find a lot of um, the effects for your la your shapes. This is what I mostly use as blending options for the effects. So I want it to be a gradient. So before I do that, I'm going to go here. See, you have your foreground and your background color. I'm going to leave the fore uh, foreground color to the blue that I had, but I'm also going to select it when I'm in the background. And I'm going to lighten the shade a little bit. I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to go back to the shape. And I'm going to go to Blending Options. And I'm going to do a gradient. So right now, it's a black and white gradient. Uh, some of you may like that. I don't. So I'm going to change the gradient to this. It's very subtle, but um, we can mess with the subtlety of it. You probably can't even notice because they're two very, um, two very similar shades. So I'm going to say OK with that, actually. Well, you guys don't have the pattern, so let's say OK to that. I'm going to now add some effects to the text on the button. So we're going to add a stroke. Just gives it a nice little um, outline. I'm going to add a pillow and boss, which makes it look, appear as though it's in the button, but I don't like how rough that is. So we're going to soften it and bring down the depth. So it's in there, but not very, um, very, uh, disgusting to look at. Okay. So we did that, we did that. Um, so that's done. Now I'm going to go back to the shape again, because I forgot something, and I'm going to add a drop shadow. We're going to add some distance to that drop, drop shadow. We're going to bring the size up a little bit. And so it looks like as though it's floating off the page a little bit. Okay. So that's the first part of the button. So we're going to we're going to make two folders. And in order to make folders, you go down to this little folder tab. We're going to bring it up to the top. We're going to add all of that stuff into the button. Now this is my attempt at being organized. Okay. So now that it's all in the group, now we're going to name this button one. So now that we have button one, we can make it invisible with this I button or and appear again. But we're going to take this and we're going to control we're going to take everything in here, and we're going to copy it. So now that we have a Facebook copy, we're going to move that out of the button one. By dragging it up above, you'll see a little line above the folder. So now it's out of button one. We're going to copy the shape. And we're going to move it out of button one as well. And we're going to copy, by the way, I forgot to tell you how to copy again. I'm so sorry. Um, in order to copy, you need to control J. So that's everything in both. So now we have button one and button two, but we didn't make a folder yet for button two. So we're going to do that now. Name this one button. And then we're going to put all the copies in button one and from button one and button two. So now we have both buttons. 
But in order to make this button the rollover effect, we're going to go back into the effects of the button itself for button 2. We're going to go into the gradient, and we're going to reverse it. So now, when the user mouses over the button, it'll reverse as and look as if it were, were pushed. But we're also going to get rid of the drop shadow for this one, so it looks like it was pushed. Okay. So now we have our two buttons fully done. So when it's pushed, it'll actually I'll put this one on top. So when it's not pushed, it'll look like this. When it's pushed, it'll look like that. So you can see kind of the effect that you get as if the button's being pushed. Okay. So now that's that that's done. Now we need our well actually we're going to get rid of this white layer. Now this is what I was talking about earlier with PNGs and transparency. When you get this checkered board look, it means that there, it's invisible. There's nothing there. So that's transparency. So I, I made this layer invisible, so this one on top shows. But there's really no color there. So now we're going to open Notepad, because that's what you guys use to write your websites. We're going to put in our basic HTML tags, your body, and your, your end HTML. And now this is when the code comes into play. And we know the code always gets typed in the body. So, now that we have this, we're going to go back to Photoshop. We're going to save. We're going to get rid of button 2 for the time being. And then we're going to save this as Facebook. We're going to save this as Facebook. Always save a PSD first, because in case you need to go back and edit it, it'll be there. So save it as a PSD. See, this is how you change the format. Save it as a PSD first. And then go back to save as again. And save it as a PNG. So you get that transparency. Next thing we need to do is save the second button. So we're going to make this one invisible and make this one visible. We're going to save this one as Facebook. We're going to go back to make it a PNG again, and we're going to save this as Facebook Roll.png. So you can see right here we got our original Facebook button, and then we got the Roll button. Okay. Now we go into our HTML. I should have actually, let me go back to my documents. We're going to make a folder. You guys probably already have one of these called website image or button. And then we'll move these in there. OK, perfect. Now we'll name this. I mean, now we need to put in our standard image tag to show the stationary button. So it's going to be image source equals Facebook, yep, Facebook dot PNG, and that. Now we're going to add the JavaScript code. Now you're not really learning JavaScript, so it's not really important at this moment what it all means, but I'll explain it to you anyway. We need to know what the button is going to do when the mouse now we so we have our, our, our button this is what it stands at now the regular button that's floating on the page and then we need to know okay so the mouse is on it so now what does the button do well now it needs to change images so we have on mouse over so this is stating that the mouse is over it and now we're going to change the image to Facebook 
role dot png. Now I'm going to end. Hold on, I did that wrong. Back it up, back it up, back it up. So on mouse over equals this dot source equals again and then single quotes um, Facebook roll dot PNG. Okay, that's that's better. Okay. So I'm going to end the image tag here just to show you what happens. We're not done yet, but we're going to save this as a website button as well. I need to go back to documents, website button folder, and then we're going to save it as website button .html. Got to change this to all files so it doesn't save as a text document. Okay, done. Now we're going to take a look and see what we did. So let's go back into here and open it up. So it's open now. So now that we only did that, the button roll over to the second image. I'll show you again a second time. But it didn't change back when I left. So in order to do that, we need to go back into our code again. We need to add one more line. So now we need to say, now that the mouse is off of it, now you need to go back to the original image, which is facebook.png. So we're going to do on mouse out. Equals. This dot source again. So pretty much the same thing that we did up there. Single quotes. Facebook. Dot P N G N single quotes semicolon and then end the tag. I don't know what happened to the end of the tag, but okay, we're gonna save and then we're gonna go back to here and then as you can see the button rolls over and goes back. So now we have our push and button. So I hope this was useful. Actually, I'm going to show you one more thing before we go. Um, now you're saying, okay, we have a button, but it doesn't go anywhere. I click it, it doesn't go anywhere. Well, that's because you don't have an anchor tag around it. So we can put an anchor tag around it if we wanted to. So a href, whoops, a href equals and then what do we want? We want it to link to we want it to link to Facebook. Okay, so we're gonna copy that. Right click, copy, go back to our code. We're gonna paste it. And then we're gonna and that there and then we're going to go to the end of the button and we're going to say end anchor tag done save again now back to testing it and then voila your button can now go to Facebook all right uh, so that concludes this tutorial thanks for watching um, I hope again I hope you found this useful and that you understand Photoshop much better now.